Welcome back to All the Mods 9. And we're still irradiated. Oh, and us thunder. Lightning before the thunder. Yeah, as you can see, I, I haven't sat in the world or anything. We still got major radiation. All I did was come over here and like take some screenshots or some stuff. But yeah, we are back in and I have a lot that I want to take care of for some reason. Oh, I'm super slow because I'm wearing the mecha suit. And for some reason, it's still like invisible with shaders. I can't really fix that. I don't I don't know what the fix is for that. So we're just going to leave that be. But I would like to see if I can enchant this with the reforge table. Uh, let me see if I put some blue in here. Oh, OK, we can. All right, sweet. Well, that means we need to do some gear farming. That'll be something that we have not done in a long time. We have not had combat in a long time i can't even do the thing i had to do this and now i'm a floating head <laughs> we haven't done combat in a while uh it might be worth doing some of that just so we can get our armor upgraded our mech suit because as i said i didn't want to make it but you know what here we freaking are we made it oh you pooped out an egg baby chicken dang it we're so unlucky i've not gotten any baby chickens okay we need to put our bad boy away there all right, we have our universal grid good to go. Let's get our shield on so we can at least have some bonus HP. We might, did we mine any vibranium? No, we did not. We probably want to go get some vibranium and maybe we'll upgrade our weapon here. Whoa, look at the stats. They look pretty neat now. What is that? They have all like, oh, they look so cool at the top. I have not noticed that. That's probably one of the new mods that are, that are installed that shows us damage and shit. That's cool. But yeah, uh, we're, we're still going to mess with that down there and fix some of that. We're still going to look into maybe doing something cool there. But I don't have any exact plans uh, for this episode, which is nice. You know, I, I like that we kind of completed everything that we wanted to for the moment. And it's nice to be able to kind of just go do something. I am messing with my mic settings again. I'm really trying to find that perfect spot so I can place my mic like not in my face, but also not too far away. And also limit a lot of the background noise because I don't want to catch my PC and also other things. But I would like to grab... Oh, we have vibranium from like 1,200 blocks away. Do we have... Oh, wrong map. Do we have a teleport over there? We have the RTP to the tool structure, but we don't have anything else. That's the only vibranium that we have marked around here. Oh, we have some over there close to basalt. Oh, that's far. That's very far away. Where? I want to go back to our portal. Uh, is it this way? That's our mine, so that portal should be nearby. Yep. Let's go back to the portal. Let's go through our waystone so we can get towards that vibranium better. Hello. And we'll go to the basalt right here. Okay, this is closer to some vibranium that we know of. I'm sure there's more as well, but we don't have vibranium site at the moment. So I'm just going to follow what I've marked on the map. Wait, did we pass them? Hey, look at that. We found some. Okay, well, let me take some blackstone and put it right there. Let's mine some. Whoa. Why am I taking no damage? Oh, is it energy based? Oh, I didn't know that's how the mech suit worked. Okay, well, now we can go home because we got some vibranium. Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to get through a ton of slurry here. Look at that. Unless we just make another <laughs> chemical dissolution chamber. And then we make a whole other line of stuff here. So I would, I would really like to take all of that vibranium ore and just pump it through. Maybe we do that. Because this this is uh, quite slow with the clean slurry. So we could probably chuck it in somewhere. But we're going to need a chemical solution chamber or chemical dissolution chamber. We're going to have to... I'm just going to do this. I want to do this. Oh, I didn't even notice that. We got a wither spawn egg. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, whoops. That guy's getting murdered. Make some uh, more points. So I need to put a point here and put it on the output network. All right. We have more cables because we're going to need to do all... Whoa, where'd it go? Oh, right here. What What in the world are you doing, me? So we're going to go ahead and need to do this for the energy. We're going to have to go over here. Oh, the inventory cables... Ah, those are going to be in the way. Well, no, that's fine. We just need to have energy go around it. But we can break this one. We don't need the cables on that or there. We just need to have it on the end so we can remove these as long as these are touching, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. 
yep that works those are all touching we're good to go there okie dokie uh but we just need to be able to get power to these things oh oh then if we just need to get power to them then that's that's gonna be not too bad and we could also just probably well i'd i'd like to remove oh we can remove some of this pipe now because it's gone down a bit Ooh, but then we're gonna have to move this too hmm so what i'm thinking is on the next layer we don't since we are not gonna need this pipe it'll be much easier to manage with because we're just gonna need to do something like this uh, so the power cables would be easier to manage on but we could skip a layer here or is this gonna mine all of them or just these ones okay just these ones so we can do that and then we can still put the machines here so let me see if what i'm saying makes sense so we do this right we place this here we do this but then we can remove this and we can separate this whole thing from power cables and we can put the uh the point above it since we're gonna have another two layers eventually so then we would just do this and the machine will be there and then is that where the machine's gonna be yeah and then we'd put the point here and then we can remove this oh whoops we remove that and we can remove that. So this point will focus on the machines below and above. And then we can use the inter uh, the interface cables or inventory cables twice. Then we don't have to place any extras. Okay. Do, do we need another setup of this? This seems like it's doing just fine. And we could probably just pipe the sulfuric acid up. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see if that works. I said I wasn't really going to mess with this stuff today. But I want to get this uh, vibranium cooked up. So... I'm gonna detour. These are just cooking up dope in the crock pot. We're gonna need so many speeds. So let's take these out and craft just a bunch of those. And a bunch of these so we can have some prepared okay so this is probably gonna run out if we place that on there and this on here whoa hey no get out of here there we go yeah these are probably gonna run out with another line of machines taking them but we will see we might need to do another another one of these good old things here whoa hey you produce more you're maxed out and you're maxed out too really you can't keep up the brine is even keeping up what isn't keeping up you are good to go you just can't keep up really so i was correct we're gonna need another electrolytic separator here this thing's fully maxed out we'll see this thing's not even running yet this one hey don't be getting hurt nah we on the job so i need energy cables Hey, whoa. Just gonna lay those out for whenever we make the rest of the machines. Because all these are gonna need to take energy from the top. And then all these as well. Alright, those are energized. Oh, you're taking radiation damage, huh? Yes, you are. Wow, you got mending, protection, five, unbreaking, rebounding. Hey, you, give me those pants that you had. Thanks, buddy. Now have fun with the radiation. I hope you have a good old time. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I didn't cause this problem. I'm sorry to tell you. It was me. I caused the problem. Okay, so this is good. We need this to output its sulfuric acid, most likely. Uh, maybe it can support it. Oh, is this... Yeah, it should output out of the top, right? Gas is out... output. Can you output out of the top? You can! Now you need gas upgrades. So, bam and bam oh you can't use them oh that's right you don't do that uh this one do, these do though you guys need them are you all the way upgraded yep you are let's grab our upgrades because we made a bunch oh that's already upgraded this one and this one this one and this one and this one and this one okay oh man those are gonna need it too you need to be upgraded and you as well all right those are upgraded now we need to do the old drop the raw vibranium in all right it couldn't do one of them that's fine now it's got the dirty vibranium slurry uh which went into there it should um oh yeah you're on output 
Slurries, input, input, input. Why aren't you outputting that? Huh? Oh, do you need something? Oh, I need to give you water. I see. So let's get you some water then. There we go. Now it's outputting it. All right. And then we can set up the script with these being uh, crystallizer three. Yeah. And this needs a inventory cable on it as well. So let's do that then. And let's go to our script and copy this. I think this is all we need to copy. And then we forget chem tank. Oh, forget chem tank one. Okay, forget chem tank two. Then we do chem tank three. Chem tank three. Crystallizer three. Trash can. Forget chem tank three. Yeah, okay. Now we do that. And now we need to pull the labels. So. Oh, we pushed. So let's pull the labels. I always forget that. Now we need chem tank three, which is that one. Wait a minute. No, it ain't. Get out of here. Crystallizer three is all of those. Now we push the labels. Now you guys should be working, right? Oh no, we need to change the side. So uh, crystallizer three needs to be south side. South side. Is it you? Are you the problem? Nope, you're outputting out of the front. Oh, that's why, I think. Yep, we have to change this to west side. So, then it should output. Yeah! And these are mad slow. Oh. Oh, we do have to give it a number if it runs out of space. Okay. Let's change it to 1200 real quick. So it outputs all of it. Alright. And also, it doesn't look like it outputs to the trash can um, when it has any slurry left else output all is all a variable that we can use so i'm going to save this and then i'm going to grab this and put it into my notepad can we output all fluids we can probably just output 1800 here and hopefully that'll output everything the reason we can probably do 1800 there is because if it has less than 1800 it's not going to output anything so you know that should work i'm going to copy this over as well that should work I hope so. Uh, how much vibranium did we get from that? We didn't get any. Oh, because it's still going through this. Oh, it's not outputting out of here. Yeah, silly goober. Hey, you. Output out the bat. Yeah, there we go. And how much did we get? Nice. We got 40. That was pretty good. What did we do in there? I don't, I don't even know how much vibranium we put in there, but we got 40 out of it. 48. Oh, it's not even done. These are still going. Now it's done, I believe. Yeah, it's probably done now. Yep, it's done. 53. Nice. Seems like a weird number to get out of there, but oh well. Uh, upgrades. Let's grab some more upgrades so we can upgrade these. And this is going to be number three of these that we have now, which is pretty damn cool. We have uh, three rows of this now. We'll probably start running out of chemicals with the other machines, so whoopsies. But you know what? It'll do the thing. We might need to slow down all of these by one everything that's using a chemical here will slow down by one and these these should be okay with the oxygen level are you working at full blast you are maybe we also slow these down we'll just take all the ones using chemicals down a notch just to save on chems oh you're stuck huh oh you're not outputting that's why auto eject on there we go that's why it was a weird number, because it wasn't done. So yeah, we got 60. Nice. We got 60 vibranium. And what can we use this in? The smithing template and obtainium upgrades, I see. Which we'd have to go find that first. But we can use it once we get the vibranium template. Did we already get the vibranium template? I don't recall, but I'm going to move away from those machines. Did we, did we get the template? No, we got the Altamadium one. But we have 60 vibranium, and even though we can't really do anything with it. Well, that was kind of a bust of a little mission. I forgot about the template, and I don't feel like going to go get the template. So we might just go do what? We might just go do some gear farming, and we can probably do that in the end. Because they drop the gold tier gear. And if we get the gold tier gear, then we can scrap it. And then we can use it on our mech suit to make our mech suit more better. Yeah, like this guy. Oh man, that's loud. What did we get? Nothing. Did he really not drop them? Oh, he dropped the shield. Okay. All right, there's a shield that we can uh, 
take. And we can upgrade that. Oh, here's an Enderman boss. Oh, he's a purple, though. I don't really want to do a purple. Oh, you got some cool music on your back. Listen to you. You thugging. Okay, let's wait for another golden boy. Look. A waystone. I'm just going to take this with me. Whoa, what is that? Those look cool. Whoa, man. Myolite crystals. This is quark. Yo, this looks neat as hell. Look at those on the map. Look at those. Those look so cool. Yo, that's sick. Very nice. People are so freaking artsy, man. I can't be like that. I'm not that artsy. Looks so dope. Those look really cool and neat. Oh, loot. Maybe there will be gear down here. Any chests? No chests. Oh, there is a chest. What is this? This looks interesting. A purr purr loot chest. Don't know what that is. I guess it's a purr purr loot chest is what it is. Uh, what's in here? Did I see something neat? They have the wild hunt music disc. A familiar. Wow. How cool. Nothing else. Nothing else of interest in there. No gear. No free upgrades. Yeah, I want to get some god pearls. Actually, let me check. Do we have any god pearls? We have two. We need more than that. We want to get better rare gear. That was a purple that spawned over here. Mr. President Nicholas, the extra fishy. Don't be fishy. Your pathing is wacky, bro. What are you screaming at me so loud for? Man, this place looks super freaking neat, man. I haven't seen this stuff before. These look really cool. Let's keep going then. Oh, a temple thing. Ew, you guys. Endermites everywhere. Go away. What the hell? This is like in the temple? Get out of my way. Loot. Oh boy. We found loot. It's a blue in here. A diamond knife with sharpness four on it. What in the world? Increases the attack speed of the hammer. I don't even know what that is. Is there a hammer in the game? I don't know. I mean, probably, right? If there's that in there. Shulker shell. We can make a shulker upgrade thingy. Let's remove that so I can see. Starbuncle token. Ooh. Oh, look at that. What is this used for? Oh, tablets for our elemental and our nouveau. Neato. Orb of temporary flight. Okay. That's something that I haven't messed with before. Look at that. We're going to need all of these things later. So it's good to take them. Do we have a charm on? And wear bundles. Oh, here's the charm. It's the magnet. Well, let's get rid of our magnet then. I'd rather have a no death thingy. Check this. An agitator for free? Ew, that sounded nasty. Quit making nasty noises. Stop that. You guys are nasty. Shut up. A world sprig token. We're going to probably need that too. Man, we're getting so many stuff and things from exploring. Neat. All right, let's go back up beyond a ways. No, Perry. I need a higher level one, not you, Perry. Okay, that hurts my freaking ears, yo. What in the world? Got an Enderman egg from that. That's cool, I guess. That's neat, I think. We got Chorus Succulent. What is this used for? Grilled Shulker. Delicious. I bet when you eat it, you teleport randomly or something. Or you get a bunch of armor or some shit. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Can I please get a gold boss? A legendary boss, mayhaps? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, a lucky netherite shovel. End city map. We are very far away. And we need to go this way to find it. Whoa, what was that? Hello? You have loot? Hey. Shit up. Purple. Regular. Blue. These guys are loud. There's an attractor, which will replace our... Um... 
Power Magnet. So that's good. Oh, we got another song. Neat. Walden Horns. Blocks of Iron. What else is in here? Gold Blocks. What is that? End Islands Enderman. Was he some kind of special Enderman? I didn't get anything particularly interesting from him, but that's pretty cool, I guess. We saw that guy. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this is a belt. Do you already have a belt on? I do. Okay, well, let's go towards this again. It is here. Would you look at this? We did it. And I want to clear the map out because brain tell me to. Yeah, now we cleared out. Let's go. We found a, a super secret place. A super secret. Not even on a map or nothing. Nobody's ever been here before in their life. Let me in. Oh, I destroyed your whole home. Whoops. You got any gold or legendary stuff in here? Diamond tier upgrade or traveler's backpack. Okay. I'm breaking. Here's a gem. Source gems. That's good. Wixie token. Um, okay, well, we're getting a bunch of stuff that we might need. All right. Any cool gear in here? Efficiency for soul bound. Blue. That's up another purple. We're getting unlucky with those. A charm of undying again. That's good to see. Just going to toss all of that in there. Uh, spire armor trim. That's cool, I suppose. What was that? True sight. It lets you see in the dark, in the fog, and underwater. Okay. What's up here? Let me in. What's in here? A sword. More songs. A Another bunch of useless stuff. Endermosh is a really cool song. I'm glad I found that one. I like that one. A blue. Another blue. Dragon scale, a, a whirl of sprig. Yep, a lot of nothing. We're not out of space in this junk. With all this junk I'm getting. And ain't no bosses, ain't no no legendary bosses spawn since I've come here. Again! Hello, boat. Broke ass boat. Gold tier upgrade. I don't some of those are for. Another Ender Mosh. It's always good to have another one. Ender Mosh is important. Okay, well, we found more stuff and things. Oh, look, another elytra. An elytra. Any purples in here? I mean, gold's not purples, dang it. I just spoke those into... Rending Gale. Fly, push, and pull mobs. Or shoot lightning. Well, shoot. That's all you had to say. Should be chests up here. Maybe we'll get lucky. This is my house now. No. Nope. Diamond tier upgrade. Cloud in a bottle. Hey, Terraria. What's up? Okay, well, we're back home. Um, let's just go to the other, I suppose. Oh, man. And we'll just chuck all that in there. We got so much stuff. Give me those. All right, let's enchant the chest plate. Oh. Uh, apparently I can't because I need to get XP. I'm going to look for some more gear types while we do this. See if we have any extra. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's one. Here's another one. I knew we had more. And here's another one. That has efficiency 7 on it. Boom. Alright, now we need the uh, disenchantment book. Because I would like to take this efficiency off of this. Maybe we'll also do this one too for the uh, stuff. I don't think these have durability, right? Doesn't look like they do. All right, let's uh, get to disenchanting these. Wow, bam, bam, sweet. Okay, now we can go to the anvil. So efficiency seven, we'll throw on this. And then we'll put Vorpal on here. If it'll let me. Yeah. Then I'm breaking. And breaking five. That'll be in breaking seven. That's good. There we go. And we have a hundred levels, so we can let's take off our armor, I suppose, and chuck this stuff away. Uh 
All right, let's take this off. Check that in. Let's see what it does. Doesn't give any extra armor. Give step height. I don't want step height right now. Let's see what this one does. Eight armor. Gives a lock. Healing received. Bursting with bursting vitality and instant health. Ooh. That's a good one, actually. This gives bursting vitality and instant health too. But it doesn't give the extra healing. So I'm gonna take this one for this. Now we need to break down this and this one and this one we got eight pearls that's good so let's check what this one gives need more gem dust first thing vitality it has an elytra flight i don't like that elytra flight's annoying check our boots speed yep speed luck speed swim speed toughness let's check our helmet here Magic damage taken is reduced. That gives max health. Magic power. Armor toughness. Hmm. None of those are really great to me. Sure, our sword. What are we at? 4.5 entity reach. 4% chance at loot pinata. Damage doesn't go down. Reach goes up. Um, protection pierce. This one has armor pierce, crit damage, and four fire damage. I think this one's better, actually. It also does damage to nearby enemies. Has extra reach. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. You come with me. Well, now we need more gem dust um, since I did that, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Gem. We need to do some mining or exploring or whatnot for these gems to increase our armor capability so then we can go do some actual stuff do those and these and to 20 we got 16 that's nice we need more so let's do that we'll just check all those in screw it we'll get seven of those okay so now we can check this one in let's see damage taken is reduced reduce gravity i don't want that i don't want the elytra flight but it does give vitality mm, let's check the helmet it's pretty okay and check the boots swim speed 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 two that one's pretty good i'm gonna take that check the chest plate here first thing vitality Oh, but it, the Elytra Flight is so dang annoying. This gives max health, magic power, mana regen, armor, toughness, everything. Okay, that gives so much stuff, actually. So I'm just going to take that. Now we're out of God Pearls, but that's okay. We have mo most of our armor is all upgraded except for our chest plate. The rest are pretty damn good, though. Sweet. Okay, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty solid now. All right, that's all we're going to do for now, I guess. At least what I'm what I'm happy with is that we're not completely unprotected now. <laughs> That's what I was really worried about was being unprotected. You we probably want to upgrade again. Well, no, we have we have player charging on. Yeah, we have player charging on, so we're we're chilling there. Uh we'll do hot bar as well. We'll charge our hot bar. Wireless charging enabled. Alright. I thought we already enabled that. We probably enabled it for a different one. All right, you're not transferring anything. That's good. You're still filling up. What's our output like? We're outputting around 410,000 per tick. Okay. And we're getting 714,000 per tick. So we're still positive by 300k. You guys are getting filled up. And I know what we need to do here now. I have a better idea of what we need to do here. Uh, it was from a comment. A comment let me know the best way to handle this. So we can pipe stuff out of the bottom here, actually. Why is there polonium in here, dude? Oh, it is so freaking annoying. How's the polonium getting in there? How did that happen? Must have been some wonky stuff with the pipes, man. It had to have been. Some of these have freaking polonium in them. But apparently we can take that nuclear waste and dump it into a trash can instead. Apparently that's something we can do. Uh, might want to try that. The ultimate trash can. See if this works. You're getting waste. You're getting waste. Are you guys even outputting? 
Yeah, you're outputting. Oh, you don't have any upgrades. Oh. Well, that would make sense, huh? You can't even take any freaking upgrades, but you can. Now you're pumping out plutonium much faster. That's good. We're definitely, we're going to have to change this system around over here and all these barrels and stuff. But uh, we're going to have to like break all of these or move all of these rather. Or just pipe all of them out because they are getting full and we have nowhere to put the stuff. So yeah, we'll have to reorganize this whole area. And I don't want to irradiate it even more. So what I might do is just empty all of them into this uh, trash can here. Oh, wow. My pickaxe is much better now. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, maybe we take the pressurized tube and just pump it all into here. Once I do this and I get rid of all of them uh, filling up and I just send it into that trash can, we'll be good to go to move everything around. So what I'm going to do is disconnect this from taking any more in. Oh, I need my configurator, which I think I put away. Did I not? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect this. It should all go into there, and we should not be going up in rads. Okay, perfect. Okay, so these aren't taking any more. Oh, can't do that. Okay. Nope. What about now? Nope. Okay, now we can take all of these. And we should not have gone up in rads. All right. Now we can pipe out of these, I hope into here and then hopefully we can do this um i hope that's all it did all right sweet and now we can hopefully just pipe this into here and we're gonna yeah it's gonna suck getting rid of all of it but i think it's better than the whole thing that we were gonna oh whoops better than what we were gonna do oh wait can i i was wondering if i could do something where it automatically gets pulled to push all right are all of you getting emptied um shoot why won't polonium get out and go into here well that's unfortunate is this what's taking polonium so what i can do then is this have that go into there and now it's whoa now this is all full of nuclear waste whoa wait so it won't go into here oh now we have a million nuclear waste you bastard <laughs> no damn it now i'm getting screwed dang man i'm struggling over here rip me oh this is plutonium's in here now how did plutonium oh no damn it i goofed i should be able to do this no i have to come over here and do it all the way back there we go okay we are okay now but for some reason this doesn't take nuclear waste this should take nuclear waste this was working with this cable i thought or was it just it was probably just going into here then instead actually that's probably what it was doing actually that's most likely what it was what was happening there all right you have plutonium in you which needs to go over to this. Oops. Gosh, darn it. This is a freaking process, guys. I'm I'm out of my element. Help. <laughs> Help me. Okay, so we need to come along this. And we can probably break this whole line and it should be good. We should have enough space still within the cables. All right, yep, we do. We can probably break this line too. And we'll still be fine. Oh yeah, we're chilling now. And then we can come over here. And hopefully break this off too. Because we are burning through that nuclear waste now. Which is good. I mean, we're making a shit ton of uh, plutonium with it. So that's fine to me. Yeah, it's all getting used up now. That's good. That's good to see. I'm just going to break those, I guess. And this line of cable as well be chilling over here all right there we go now these things are pumping out and you can also be broken what the hell oh no why 
Why does this always happen to me? Damn it. I need to break this. Actually, we need to break it here. Because we have these right next to each other. So I'm going to... Oh, you have nuclear waste in you. Damn it. I'm going to let you process out. And then I need to put this here. Oh, you don't have any in you now? Sweet. Okay, so you're going to move then. We need to get you guys separated. Got to keep them separated. And then we're going to separate these cables out as well. Once we break this off here. And then we can do this right here to break this off. All right. These guys are going to be separated. I'm going to take you down a notch. Put down a pig. You have polonium in you. So now we can go this way with this. Now this will have polonium in it itself. Now we can do this. That all went in. And now we can break this. There we go. Okay. We have plutonium in here that we need to get rid of. So and then all the plutonium should go back in. All right. Now it's out of this barrel. Now we can start the fun part of fixing what we just did wrong. <laughs> all right. Perfect. And then we can break this Then we should be good. All right. Sweet. Now we need to set up some kind of redstone system here to where this takes a redstone signal to like turn itself off. Maybe there's a mechanism thing to do. This was also another idea that somebody had. Redstone adapter. Is that it? I don't know, but we're gonna see. Drafted a QIO redstone thingy. So a redstone thingy majig. So. Oh, is this, this might be for something else. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, solar neutron activator. We'll put another one here also. And then we'll put the pressurized tube here. And it'll go in there as well. All right. And this thing should always be empty now of waste. These guys are going to push over to here. Can we push spent nuclear waste into, whoops, into a trash? What does the nullifier do? I'm going to make one and see. What do you do? Oh, you just, you destroy items. Um, oh, you take liquids. You don't take gas. Gas. Is there an infinite chemical storage disc? There's a 65 million ME super storage cell. Oh, I don't think those are it. Yeah, those won't work. Hmm. Well, we have spent nuclear waste over here. That's what you get, you silly goober. Maybe having radiation isn't so bad because those things keep dying, so... <laughs> Well, at least we're producing polonium and plutonium. We have a much more plutonium than polonium, but that's to be expected. And you're using SPS casings. Reprocessed fissile fragment. Oh, you can turn that back into fissile fuel. Oh. So all the nuclear waste, you can then turn back into fissile fuel. Okay, I see how that works. And then this, you drop it into a chemical oxidizer and it gets fissile fuel. And then you have fissile fuel renewal in some way. What's the SPS? What's this for? I need to do a ponder on this bad boy. Supercritical phase shifter. Converts polonium into antimatter. Is that what I said? Into antimatter gas using a large amount of power. Oh yeah, we're going to need this at some point. Because we need antimatter to even make the ATM star. Okay, well. Let's look that up and tell this to heck off we have our stuff still going here Ugh, this thing is so ugly looking how's our fluorite are we still positive on this this looks like we're like slowly going down on it so maybe we need one more seed for it how many seeds do we have of fluorite do we have only one we have a bunch of stone seeds yeah we only have one fluorite seed so let's get one more going that could be a good idea uh, so we don't run out of it. We didn't place back down our uh, thing, did we? Nope. Uh, what is it? Mystical? Yeah, it is. Okay, so oh, whoops. Grab this. And we need to grab these. And we need a button. Hey, we can just place this back down somewhere. So here. Yeah, there we go. Then we'll place this down so we can make one more fluorite seed. We'll do that. 
so we can get a fluorite seed going so then we can have more output how are we doing down here did we fill this out no we filled that whole row up though take those and we'll move these over there we go Alrighty. now we have these fluorite seeds going as well so now that hopefully evens it out oh this thing's still cooking over here our bees are hopefully not dead from radiation how's the rads over here okay you guys are unaffected sweet very nice i thought these uh, poor guys were gonna die these guys are probably getting oh no we're still getting drops from them i thought they were gonna be dying immediately we're filling up on power slowly but surely these things are working and doing their job these things don't work that fast maybe we need another one but this thing's also eating up the nuclear waste just because of its location hmm that's okay though it is okay all right so we worked on our mech suit we got most of it upgraded we've kind of fixed this situation not too much though there's still more that i want to do with this but i would also like to upgrade our uh fission reactor here so we're gonna need fission reactor casing we already have some but let's make more now we need the what's this called reactor glass so let's make some more of this as well oh we need enriched iron so let's make some of this now we need to scram this all right we scrammed this now how do we drain the water out or does that matter and the fissile fuel does that not matter either i mean we're gonna probably lose it right that's okay though and we need to grab this we're gonna need to increase this out, out a bit i need to think of how much i want to do on here so if i increase it out one more then we can put rods on the sides what if i do how big is it right now it's a five by five so maybe we do a seven so we increase it out by two so one two and then all the way around and then it'll be a seven by seven okay yep it's just gonna all go away that's fine all right now we need to break this and then this now we need some control rod assemblies and vision fuel assemblies how many more of these do we need one two three four five six seven seven more what are these called control rod assembly so we need seven more of these we place one there there and there and there and there now we need to break these and place them in the corners now we need vision fuel assemblies we need a lot of these so just make a bunch of uh, chemical tanks make a bunch of these all right now i just need to place the where are they at here they are place these all right it's all good to go now oh never mind we've got one so i did make enough i think is that enough oh i need one more control rod assembly we'll make one more beam okay this is all filled up now we need to put the glass on there we go it's all good to go now look at you going what are you doing now we can burn up to 65 millibuckets a tick let's set this to 25 real quick let's see what happens oh shoot um is this set up to these are set up properly right i sure hope they are all right now we need to set this one to damage critical and then oh shit um need to remove this and set this to activation now how do i set this observer properly and i just do that and then that yeah there we go you have damage no now do i need to turn it on okay and how much are we at now a whole 856 thousand and we're still limited on this side Look at that. And we're not even at max burn rate. 
Are we still pumping fissile fuel up? Yeah, we are. Damn. Or are we going down now? Ooh, we're going down. We can't pump enough fissile fuel now. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Well, pump that up. Yeah, you start pumping out that fissile fuel now, boy. Let's go all the way. Ooh, that's a lot of power, actually. <laughs> Whoops. Let's take that out. <laughs> okay, we're we're net positive on the fissile fuel now. Can we pump this up even more without it breaking? Are you good over here? Yeah, you stabilized. Hell yeah. And we're producing over a million power per tick. Let's go. How are you? You're still good. How's our fissile? Still positive. Let's bump it up even more. To 50. A nice even number. How are you? Are we stabilized here? Yes. 1.7 million per tick. Oh my goodness. Look at us. We're pumping almost 2 million total. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. 1.7 million. Oh, that's the most power I've ever done at once. How's our fissile fuel? Are we still positive here? Oh yeah, we're chilling. Is that only because we have an excess? Oh no, we're still... Our flow is still good. Yep. Where is our bottleneck happening? Anywhere? Are we slowed down anywhere? No, because you caught up, maybe? I think it's because this caught up, maybe, that it were good. Yeah, it looks like it. I think two of these are good. That's sweet. That's so cool. Hell yeah, we could even add another one. How is our gunpowder, actually? I thought that was gunpowder. We're almost out of gunpowder. Ooh, shoot. Uh, how are we making gunpowder, though? Are we making gunpowder? We can make gunpowder. Do we have the recipe set up to make it? It looks like we do. How's our coal? We have 975,000 predictions. We have 20k. Are we getting some of these? We are. Okay, so we're chilling. Um, and we're, are we getting coal from drops? I think we get coal from drops, right? Yeah, we get coal sometimes. So that's good. So maybe we're totally sufficient. Almost. Maybe we're like slightly down on the coal. I think maybe we're slightly down on the coal, but I know we, we get some of it. Oh, I picked up a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, how's the sulfur? You guys are going to die over here. Ooh, we have 87,000 sulfur dust. And how are we getting sulfur dust? Oh, that's right, because we're crafting it through here. And we're yoinking some out. Very nice. Um, and we're cooking sulfur dust over here as well. To power our system over here. Hell yeah. All right, well, I think we are... How's our gold here? Is it empty? We're out of gold now. Okay. This isn't dumping, though. So this isn't dumping. Mm, how do we get it to dump? Is there a way to get, like, total amount? Is there a way to get this to stop? Also, we can break these. I need to figure out how to get this to output to a trash can. I don't want to set it to dumping oh damn it i need to look up that mod uh the super factory manager real quick the only well the weird the weird solution that i can think of off the top of my head um is horrible and it would have involved doing output 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 in order here i don't want to do that though i need to view examples and do this is the only thing I can think of. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's any other better way to do that. Oh, I can't do it. The trigger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trigger limit won't allow it. So let's just replace all of this then. Okie dokie then. Well, shoot. That's the limit. How can I dump more of this? Maybe I can do a redstone signal here.
Oh. Oh, okay. So I can just set it up like that. Oh, I was just being weird. So I can just do output to trash can if it has that. All right. Oh, and that means I can do this then because this will only output 200. It won't put less, it won't put uh, anything that doesn't have 200. So that's awesome. And now I can waste like no slurry. So I can just do this. So what we just learned is if you give it a number in the output, it won't output it unless it has enough for it, which is good for us because that means that instead of checking if it has enough to give it to every crystallizer, we can just make sure it has enough to give it to one. And then next time it goes through the logic, if it doesn't have at least 200, then it'll go here and it'll dump all of it, all of the rest into the trash can. So that's really, really good. Hell yes. I am so happy with that. That is a very nice change for us. Okay. So now what we need to do is go to our label gun. Uh, I think we put it away. And we need to grab our label gun. And we need to change this to Kim Tank 2. Remove that. And do that. And then push that. All right. So now Kim Tank 2 should be working on these ones. Right? Is that correct? Yeah, Kim Tank 2. Uh... Ah, we need to change Kim Tank 2 to be whatever side this one is. So Kim Tank 1 is west side, so that means we need to change Kim Tank 2 also to west side now. West side. Now these should start working. There we go. All right. Sweet. Now we can remove this and that. Beautiful. We're much more clean now. And this one, how are we doing here? Are we still good? Oh, yeah, we're full on these because we reduced the numbers. Okay. Now we can get this one going which means we need to set up which one we want to go into here. And we probably will send in the iron. That's probably what we'll do. So we'll go ahead and go up to he, which one? Yep, this one here. We'll toss that in. That'll go through. And then we're going to set up the logistical transport cables. Not those. Log logistical. And we'll set these up right here. So now that will take the iron. It should. Oh, well, hold on. We need to tell this to take input out of the back. There we go. So now this will take iron. This will pump all of those in. This is pumping the osmium. This is pumping the copper. All right. Now all of these should be working. Hell yes. Let's go. We did it. We improved the system. Let's go. And we also improved our power generation as well which is freaking sick. Are we running into any issues here? Nope. And we're still positive on the fissile fuel and we're producing a whole 1.7. Can we go even further beyond? How's our nuclear waste? Oh, we're, we're chilling. We are pumping it out. But now we need to worry about this. Are these good here? I think we're okay. I sure hope we are. Looks like we're slowly decaying on all of these. Um, until we start pumping these numbers up even more, but I would I would really like to I want to see if we can max it out Let's see if it doesn't break We're at max burn rate Oh, but we're going down on the fissile fuel, so we need to lower this a little bit Are we going up now? All right, we're going up and we're producing two million. <gasps> yes, we're producing two million FE. Two million FE per tick. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. <laughs> yes, that's so good. Hell yeah. Oh man. Look at that. 2.256 million FE. Oh my goodness. That's so insane to me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, are all these upgraded all the way? No, they're not. So, well, I think if we upgrade these all the way, they're not going to work as well as we want them to. Um, but we can, we can afford to do it. So let's do one speed on here. And the reason I say they're not going to work how we want is I believe that we're going to start running into problems with the other resources. That's what I mean here. Uh, I don't I don't know if the uh, two chemical 
things can keep up with this i sure hope they can but we'll see once we go over here so this is all the way well, this is on seven are you all the way upgraded you're on six let's bump you up as well we need more speed upgrades so let's take some of those we need to bump you up to oh you're already all the way up okay and you are at six so let's bump you up all right you are full and then you are at six as well so let's bump you up to seven oh you're actually getting drained buddy let's bump you up again are you evened out now you are not so our chemical oxidizer here is too full oh no get out of here i'm going to bed screw you guys i'm going home wowzers man we're running into bottlenecks now <laughs> Really cool bottlenecks though, because these this means that we're producing a ton of power. So I need to put a chemical oxidizer here. You guys can go away, by the way. You can just you can just leave. You don't have to you don't you don't have to keep screaming at me. Just go away. Thank you. So we can do this. And we're gonna make another chemical oxidizer because we're gonna we're gonna run out of the chemical that it's producing and we won't have enough to keep up with our production. So let's go ahead and make another one of these. All right, let's do that. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Well, shoot, I want them to be the same. So let's go this way and let's place it like that. Yeah, okay. How's your config? So your right side is this. This is your right side? Okay. So right side, output, input out of the top, all right. Gases output. All right. And then we need to make a logistical transporter here and tell this to go. And how are our yellow, yellow cakes? How did we make these with uranium ingots? And it looks like we're positive on this, but we're, we're, we're chilling for now. This is going. So let's, uh, let's upgrade this. Go bam, bam. All right. This is all the way upgraded. Now we need to have a pressurized tube going into here, like so. All right, are you going up now? Sweet, it is now going up. And we definitely, I think we are gonna run out of uranium here, uh, slowly, but surely, especially because now we have two of these going, the two chemical oxidizers. But we're at least producing a good amount of fissile fuel now. We Hopefully we won't, run into any major issues. It looks like all of the chemicals are keeping up. This one's keeping up just fine, which I'm surprised because this is also just running one at a time. Oh, it does have a gas upgrade as well, which is good for the sulfuric acid. Maybe that's why that's keeping up. Is there anything else running out over here? This is keeping up. This is keeping up just fine. And this one's also keeping up. What are you at? You're at seven. Are you at seven as well? You're at eight, which we can take you down to seven. Yeah, looks like we're fine there. And you are at seven as well. And we're keeping good there. And the brine's looking good. Let's actually check the brine. Oh yeah, we are net positive on the brine. <laughs> we are very positive on the brine now. That's really, really good. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> oh man. Wow, we did. We improved our gear today. Not completely, but we did get some good improvements here. We increased our power generation to a solid 2 million with this. And in total, we're producing 2.25 million power per tick. And what's crazy to me is that's not even enough for what we're going to need. I believe we're going to need over 100 million per tick, which is absolutely nuts. We're producing a bunch of uh, lithium dust still, which we will need because we're going to increase this, this uh, power storage here. We improved this a bit to make sure that we're producing even more fissile fuel in order to have this go. We improved this situation here with the nuclear waste and with making sure that we have polonium going and plutonium going. There's still much more to improve here. I think these are okay and they are all going down. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this spent nuclear waste to make sure that they are solid. Uh, I don't know any other way to mess with spent nuclear waste, but we will figure it out. Our fissile fuel is good and positive, even though we're burning, I think, 60 millibuckets per tick. Yeah, we're burning 60 millibuckets per tick, but we're still good there. We improved this system and we upgraded it, which is very freaking nice. I think we're still 
Oh, it looks like we're getting slightly drained here. Oh, never mind. We're good here. This is going up. Okay, sweet. Well, that's going up. So that's really freaking awesome to see. Our brine is almost maxed out on the storage here, which is freaking crazy. I wish we could just pipe it into our system, which we actually we might be able to do now. Instead of storing it like this, we might just pipe it all to the system. I won't worry about that right now. We'll deal with that next time. Uh, we improved this. We improved the script to make everything work even better. We've got so much stuff going on. We've got these things cooking, man. Oh, hell yeah. Why are some of these more full than the other ones? I do wonder. That's interesting to me. Oh, is it just the priority that they're getting yoinked out? Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see the best way to do this and to make sure that these are all good and going properly. The best way might to, might be to have all of these output into a chest and then have the chest be the only thing that goes into here. That might be the way to do it. And if that's the case, then we'll have to do a little bit of restructuring. But nonetheless, this is working and we're getting a ton of stuff. Wow, look at that. We have iron, aluminum, osmium, and gold nuggets up here now. Whew. This is the most stuff I've ever had. <laughs> I, usually, I usually have stopped playing for a long time by this point. So this is absolutely nuts. We're hopefully getting closer to being able to... Well, I'm invisible again, and I, I almost took off my armor in the radiation. So let's move away from that. But now we can do this. Okay, we're good now. All right. So I think that we're moving towards being able to hopefully make the infinite storage disk soon. I know that it needs a ton of stuff, and we're going to need a bunch for it as well. But man, we're making progress. Even though we did some irradiating of our world... We are improving. We are, we're improving so much, man. We've improved so much so far, and we've done so much more. We got this mech suit going, which I totally did not want to make, but it is what it is. I made a mistake, so I needed to, you know, I needed to make sure to account for that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I always appreciate it so much. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you guys in the next time. And maybe we will have a more focused idea <laughs> for what we do. Goodbye.